Welcome back everybody, Kraken Packs MTG here with a draft box of Ikoria Layer of Behemoths. We're going to do something slightly different today. Uh, we have three people here. We have Thorsten, Ronnie, and myself. And we're going to be splitting this box of Ikoria three ways. I like to call it the Triple Dipper. But, there's this. I'm going to take myself out of the running for it, so it's up to Thorsten and Ronnie to see who gets that. I'm going to need to count these. I'm taking them out of stacks, but you want to be sure that everybody is equals here. And that is 12. That is 12. And that is 12. Just so everything is an even playing field. I don't know why it's an even playing field, but everybody gets the same amount. Let's just say it that way. We're going to start over here at the left with Thorsten. And do we have the tab? No, these are regular. Domestic U.S. packages. And let's flip through here and see. You can hear they've got that. That, uh, what do you want to call that? That texture to it. We already have some of the foil back there. First trial. Nice first sit. And a Zagoth crystal. Let me, uh, let me take these out of there. That way we can keep track of everything a little bit better. Because 12 packs do seem to add up pretty, pretty fast when you're stacking. Ooh. Creepy time. Hollywog, Mythos of Broccoli. Of course, we have our tokens there. Hey guys, I'm about to get my arm bit off. We have the very aggressive looking Liger. And we have a huge kitty cat with a foil trumpeting gnar. Get that out. And this one as well. Majestic Oricorn, and I almost missed the chonkiest of boys. I had somebody the other day tell me that uh, when they hit a really fat golf shot, they called a chonky boy now because of this guy. Thundermare, and then a regular hunted nightmare. Catcher. That's just really, with, with all the greens in this, that's just a really good looking card. Shock Typhoon! And a perimeter sergeant. Again, his arm is in the lion's mouth. Little thievy boy. Bastion. 
Who is that guy right there? Phoenix with a pyroceratops. Evolving Wilds. It's a fetch land, but not quite a fetch land. I guess you're fetching something. Mythos of Vadrock. And a weaponize the monsters. That's uh that's Luca there in his really cool coat. Cloud Piercer, Reconnaissance Mission, what do we, okay, we got some stuff here, we hit our first Mythic, it's a Luca, Copper Coat Outcast, and what is our, and a Foil, Karuga the Macro Sage, that's a good pack, no alternate art, but two good hits. Chad, where you been, brother? It's been out pulling all nighters, drinking cases of Monster Energy drinks. All right, now we're we're hitting a, a stack of mythics here. We have two in a row, one pack out of foil rare in it. So there's a great horn. He looks pretty unhappy. Slow down. Oh, bosh. The Prey Piercer. With a foil Ivy Elemental. All right. Another Mythos. This one is the Nethroi version. Seb McKinnon. And a Jungle Hollow. And down to our last pack here. Oh. We almost spoiled the rare slash mythic slash whatever's here in the back. And it is a Skycat. A 1-1 one, one flyer for blue and a white. I think it's 1-1 one, one for each other creature with flying. And you can make your own flyers. He doesn't seem that bad. I feel like there's some sort of deck that could be built around that guy. Up next, we got Ronnie G. Bright Dragon, good uncommon. Blitz, and a Kahir the Orphan Guard. Another companion. Our first one, I think, was... No, no, it's our third one, because we got the... The Macro Sage in foil. Can't forget about the Hippo. The Dino Hippo. Shuring Harvester, Barrier Breach, and Andranith. You may not play spells from anywhere but your hands. Random Dolphin. This, this, this card feels so off in this set. Like, where did this random sneaky... 
dolphin with a dune under it come from? I know we have all the sharks, but just a random dolphin. Garuda. That guy has, uh, he's been a yo-yo of prices lately. He started off really low and went really high, and now he's just kind of, he's just kind of okay so far. Really mean lizard beast. Hope. Big hit. Fiend artisan. If you get this guy an extended art foil, he is worth quite a bit. I think he's probably one of the harder extended art foils to hit. I don't know if we, of all the mystery boosters that we, excuse me, mystery boosters, collector's boosters that we've opened, I don't think we've hit a single extended art foil of him. But in any flavor, he is a good hit. Song of Creation. Dire Tactics. I've been seeing this card quite a bit, play, played quite a bit um, on Arena. And it's a blue and a, I'm all, I'm all kinds off my game. Excuse me. It's a black and a white. You exile target creature. If you don't control a human, you lose life equal to that creature's toughness. So that is a pretty, pretty good card. And we got a Vivian Monsters Advocate. And a foil. Both of the packs that are, had our foil rare and it had a Planeswalker and the foil rare. That's pretty cool. So we got a Luca, and we got a Vivian. So now all we're missing is Narset. Will she make an appearance? Always have to get a close up of that guy, silly face. So the Wisp. General Enforcer, Porky Parrot, also in his final form, known as Bird Swallow, with a back-to-back -back Slither Wisp. What? Back-to-back -back double tap of the Slither Wisp. Seas. Ruinous Ultimatum. I think that's our first ultimatum of the box. And it's the one that wrecks your opponent. Go for blood. I've seen more of that cycling deck on Arena than I would care to say. Seems like every other deck is cycling. Or it's Jess Guy. Oh, that's the rare, the Voracious Great Shark. Almost missed it, I was talking about Arena. I'm still waiting for Arena to make the jump to handheld devices. I think when that happens, there's going to be a huge boom for people that play Magic the Gathering paper and electronic, to be honest. There's a lot of people that say it's going to kill paper magic, but I don't think so. I think it's just going to make it more accessible to people that can't get out to game stores or to a group of friends to play. Parcel Beast, good uncommon. Quartzwood Crasher. 
All right, that finishes things up for Ronnie. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, let me, let me just run this over here on top of those. And these are for me. I'll tell you what we're gonna do with these after we're done getting them open. Anticipate trumpeting buttery boy, because I mean, look at him. He, that doesn't look like water. That looks like he's he's eating butter. Colossification. Necro Panther, Porky Parrot, Eladar, oh, we got something back there, and just by that little sliver that I'm seeing, I want to say that's a Full Art Luca, and it is. Full art, kitty boy, with a foil mountain. See, the difference between the English packs and the Japanese ones, I think, is we would have still gotten another rare in there, since that's the alternate art. I think that is the difference between these, uh, these and the Japanese printings. Labyrinth Raptor. That card feel like it's left over from Mixalon to me. It may not have been, but Heartless Sack. That another Quartzwood Crasher. He's I've noticed this a little bit. There, there's some duplication in these draft boxes. Whoa, we got another full art. We got a Cub Warden. Really mean looking guy. That's cool art. So that is two full arts for that stack. That doesn't quite seem fair for everybody else. Sea Dasher Octopus. That is a decent hit. One of my favorite cards out of the set is that Sea Dasher Octopus. It's just kind of He's real low-key, flying under the radar. Not making a big fuss, not causing a big ruckus. He's just he's just flashing himself in the play and drawing people cards. Bonders Enclave. That's a, a double up on a mythic in the same box. How does that happen? We got we got double chatted. Is that possible? He's got he's a twin chads. How does that even happen? There's not enough swagger in the whole world to go around for two chads in one box. That's just blow, that's blowing my mind right now. Two chads. One box. That's my face right now. How does that even happen? Lutri. Everybody's favorite otter with a foily six-eyed squirrely guy. Like, what do you have to do to get banned 
like this guy did before you even before you're even able to get out there into the real world and have people play with you. Well, he's too cute. He didn't do anything wrong. Back to back Lutri. I wonder if this is gonna be a pattern with these boxes that there are back to back duplicate, duplicate rares. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to open some more of these. This is the first box of the U.S. printed ones that I've opened. We're going to do some investigation. I'll report back. And here's the Emergent Ultimatum. All right. So generally, I was going to do something else with these cards. But just to be a nice guy and fair, I'm going to split them between Ronnie and Thorsten. And we still have to roll for the box topper, so I'm rolling right now. Thorsten will be number one, two, and three. Ronnie will be four, five, and six. So let's roll. It's a two, so it goes to Thorsten. If I can get this thing open. And there's been a ton of people that have been getting these out of their box. That it got wedged between something, and it's completely folded in half. I have not ran into that yet, thank goodness. But let's open this. This one is going to Thorsten. Oh, man. And it's a Mythic King Caesar Awoken Titan. This is, if you're going to get a King Caesar, this is the one you want to get. So there you go. Good job. And like I said, I'm going to split these up between these two guys. And I'll try to make it equal since, you know, we like to be fair here. We always do the giveaways. So what I'm going to do on this one if you're subscribed to the channel, you like the video, and you leave me a comment, I have a stack of these. So we're going to get a Godzilla King of Monster out. And I'll probably throw a couple packs with it because I just don't want to give away just one little dinky card, even though it is the King of Monsters. And I appreciate you guys putting up with me one more time. I know these videos go up early or late, I guess depending on where you're at. And uh, if you're watching, it means a lot to me. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.